87 X of Bland Bohannon from Williston, North Dakota. Green flag in the air. We're racing modified heat race number one. Both men were holding the lead last night in Williston for a while, running the low groove until the track began to cave away. And he just couldn't make a stick and ended up dropping out. And Thielen out in a hurry, hurry tonight in the 65 out of Minot. Leads lap number one. Thielman in second. Josh Walla diving down, trying to grab that third place spot. Couldn't quite get it away from Alan Fetzer. I got corrected, Larry. I'm sorry to leave you there for a minute. I pronounced Jared's name wrong. It's actually Thielen, not Thielen. So the 65 machine, the leader is Jared Thielen. Why does he have an H in his name? Then? I don't know, but don't feel bad because I've been saying Thielen for about 19 years. Wow. There's an H there. One of those silent letters again that we know up. Ricky on Trailer Park, boys. Can't handle it. He told us tonight when he checked in that we're messing up his name. <laughs> Better late than never. Well, where was he the last 18 years when he should have told us? <laughs> wow. Teelan, your leader. Spielman in second. Fetzer, then Walla, then Medler, then Drew Christensen, Glenn, Hannah, and then Steven Seibel. Four to go. Thielen's race to lose. Past the flag stand on the 65 goes Thielen. Thielen still in second. Alan Fetzer hanging on to third in front of Josh Walla. Paul Medler trying to run up high and down low, trying to find a spot. He'll swing shot his way around. Drew Christensen. High green flag, two laps to go. Walla trying to find his way around the 67 half of Alan Fetzer. What a great knee race victory that knee for him to be around the top five. Walla almost turned sideways. So is it Drew Christensen. Here comes the white Lennon for Thielen. Spielman still in second. Walla to the inside. The smallest another almost made it three wide at a corner four. White Lennon shows for Fetzer. Medler now is in the fourth. Medler and... Fetcher are both running the high groove. Metal tries to drop down below. Here comes Thielen out of the corner. Thielen, your winner. Spielman in second. And there goes, there goes Metler to the bottom. Slide job up top. See if he can make it hold as Fetcher comes to the inside. Metler in third. Fetcher, then Walla. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner from Bismarck, North Dakota. It's the 65 machine of Jared Thielen. He by the Minot Minotauros. And Tony Marsh out of Dickinson in the 80 machine. Green flag. Marlon Seiler has a great restart on the pole position. Runs to the bottom, tries to slide up in front of Conway, holds his line. As now Conway surpasses him, Marlon drives down to, to second. Conway, Marlon Seiler, John Flory, Nostal's under siege of the 9H of Hellebust. And Stephen Pfeiffer got done farming here. Oh, no contact with Tomlinson and Nostal. But Stephen Pfeiffer was going to make it down to Williston Basin Speedway in his late model, Larry, but he didn't get done farming yet, so he had to finish that first, as now he's at the Nodak Speedway and is modified. Very understandable. As they come out of the corner, Chase Conway still leading the Wiley Wiley and Wiley or veteran Marlon Seidler. They go into corners one and two. John Flory's got a few ticks in his belt as well. In the 19 machine, he takes it down the back. Followed by the hot rod. Another lap for Conway. Five laps to go. Conway is your leader. Skyler behind him. Then Flory. Hellebus. Pfeiffer. Nostal. Tomlinson. And then the veteran Tony Marsh coming out of retirement this year. Hopping on down modified. Running out of the corner. Silo looks into the inside of Conway. That's going to be a battle for the lead as we have four to go. Last lap by. Well, Seidler was the fastest run racing surface, 70.8 miles an hour. He's going to make it a battle as John Flory's waiting to pounce, waiting for a mistake of the top two cars. Chase Conway up in the berm, out of corner number four. Seidler right behind, everybody going high in the top groove now. All the way around the speedway. No one dares dive out on the inside. That seems to have went away. Here comes Conway and Seidler. 
On the corner this time, high raise, three flags, two laps to go. Conway's clear leader and still the best throw of the race for service, 71.4 miles an hour, last lap by. But Seidler's trying to get the momentum out of two. Go on the back straightaway. Seidler is just itching to get past the eight machine. Jumps up in the berm, turns her sideways out of corner number four. He's right on the bumper of the eight. We're going to have a battle as the white linen shows. One to go this time by. Conway leads him down the back straightaway. Seidler's in tow. Flory is third, hot rod at fourth. Last test for Seidler. Out of the corner they come. Chase Conway saves them off. Seidler in second. John Florio gets third. Hot Rod Hellebuck in fourth. And Steve Pfeiffer gets the top five. W's inside row number four. We're going green. And Ryan Walla from Tioga in the 7W. We're racing. The 27W of Wall on the 14T of Travis Hagen. Yeah, just a little bit of a rivalry going on the last three or four shows. Walla finishing in front of Travis last night. Travis beating him Friday night. Travis beat him last Sunday here. They tied for the 17th annual Can-Am Shootout Championship this weekend. And now they're going at it again. As they thunder in the three and four, your leader comes by the grandstand. That's Marcus Tomlinson. Jordan Hiddle, still at second of the four machine. Dallas Wright gets up in the marbles in the 72. And Jason Wall of the Big Show. His birthday today as well in the 27S. Walla now into third. Troy Kittler drives around Travis Sagan to grab fourth. But boy, Tomlin passed in this one. Dallas Rice into the infield here going into the pit. Something not right with the 72 machine. Marcus Tomlinson and George Hill out front. Then you have Jason Walla. Then Travis Sagan slides up almost into Troy Kittler. Slows him up. They both slide up. One lane racing service looks like to be the high groove. As Wayne Johnson the 4 is behind the 14T of Travis Hagen. Three laps to go. Jason Walla trying to catch up some ground on that number four machine of Jordan Hiddle, but he's way back. And Tomlinson put this one in the bag with two laps to go. Fastest car of the racing service last lap by. Is going to be the, 70, is the 27W of Jason Wall at 72 miles an hour. He's right on the high groove. We have a caution. Is out. Front straightaway. Kittler. No, Johnson. Excuse me. Wayne Johnson. Right at the, I can't even fit into from last year. So kudos to him. Green <laughs> flags out. <laughs> the plan is you just buy the largest shirt you can right away. Yeah? You get the triple tent 5X. <laughs> Been wear it for years. That's why I got the 3XL in the, in, the in the pink shirt tonight. Here they come out of the corner. Walla. Trying to run down Tomlinson. His dad said that yellow flag was not needed by the 5 team. And Jason Walla at least had a shot at him. And I don't know if he's going to get him. Here comes Travis Hagen barreling down low. White flag, Tomlinson, Walla, Hiddle, there's a spin again, it's Wayne Johnson. Wayne will get it going, and Walla drives, Tomlinson slows down. Tomlinson slows down, Walla wins it. What happened there, unbelievable, I don't know if he thought it was over. <laughs> <laughs> 